Hello everyone, Maro Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Spend the Day in Miami with me vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, so I am putting on a face, a very just chill face. Um, I'm heading to an event at Bell Harbor Shops today to celebrate their merch line. Um, they do come out with their own merch, which is pretty cool. And they invited me to a dinner this evening. So we're gonna get ourselves together, get dressed. I'm gonna take you all with me. But before then, I have quite a few new end items like PR, uh, beauty pieces that I wanna show you all. You all seem to enjoy that. And I love to, you know, find new beauty products and put you guys onto new things as well. So we'll do a lot of that and just be around the house. Um, I actually started my makeup routine with two products that I do want to show you guys. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Micro Serum. Um, I start with this and this has helped me a lot because I don't know if you guys can tell but I have a little breakout like here and a little patch of a breakout here on my face. I don't know what broke me out, uh, but this has been like soothing my skin and moisturizing without like a bunch of like products. And of course, rose is great for your face. And then I popped on my favorite sunscreen, which is Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This is one, one of the only sunscreens that I can wear on my face. I have tried the Fenty. The jury's out on that. I will report back and let you all know about the Fenty SPF because I've been using it off and on. But yes, these two, great as a makeup base. Um, oh, also my hair. So you guys know I like to do my twist out on dry, stretched, blown straight hair. Well, I used a new gel and I'm loving it. This is called Holy Curls. Um, it is a gel, it's the number four with a, uh, Biobab, coconut, and sweet orange. Holy Curls is a black owned business, so I'll be sure to link this down below and you can see the definition, it's so good. And what I like to do is put a little bit on the ends as well for an hour or two before I'm about to take uh, my hair out so that the ends are sealed so my hair doesn't get as poofy, as big straight away with the humidity here in Miami. So yeah, I've just started my makeup. I'm gonna finish it off, but I know you guys like when I cook, and I cooked the best meal last night. It's one of my favorite meals. It takes me about 15 minutes to, not even 15, about 10 minutes to prep the meal and about 45 minutes to cook the meal. So it's like the perfect hour long. If you have an hour and you want a delicious meal, this is what I cook. Um, and I usually make this, oh, sorry about the light, you guys, it's going in and out. Um, I usually make this meal like once or twice a week. I love it that much. So I'm gonna rewind it back to last night, play out my food cooking montage for you guys. Um, details will be down below if you wanna recreate it. And then we'll come back here, I'll be fully done, and we'll get into some products. So let's get to cooking.
I hope you all enjoyed cooking with me. So I made a beautiful like baked salmon with broccoli and uh, mashed potatoes, but I love to use the red potatoes with a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Uh, and then I do like to add a little bit of mayonnaise too to just make it extra like whipped creamy and it was so good. The way I devoured that meal last night and I also, I'm gonna eat the leftovers today for lunch. Okay, so for the look, I just added a little bit of my favorite Dior um, Poison Matte Blush. It's a beautiful pink. At first, I was really into orange, but I feel like the orange blush from Dior is better for like tropical locations and such. This is the cherry one that I use that has more of like an orangey kind of glow. I feel like this is great. I mean, for Miami, I can wear it anytime. But I have been loving the pink. I feel like it just does a little something extra. And then of course, the gloss is Dior Lip Glow Oil in the color Rosewood. It's just clear, but it does have a little bit of a tint, if you can see. And it's very moisturizing, which I need because my lips are going through it. Um, I'm gonna finish off the look with a little bit of this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I've been liking spraying. Usually I don't set my makeup, but I feel like it helps. Ooh, I love Caudalie. This has a beautiful smell. And it just, you know, gives me a little glow. Mm, I love that price. Okay, let's head out here. I just got a package in. Well, not a package, but I just got a delivery. So let me show you guys what I got. <sighs> all right, you guys. First of all, I wish you all could smell my house. It smells amazing. Um, I think I did an unboxing a few videos ago where a replica, um, Mason Margiela replica, they sent me a candle and they also sent me a fragrance. This is the Autumn Vibes fragrance and I like to spray it on all of the linen in my home, like the pillows, my throw pillows. And then I have the candle burning here. I have this one candle burning on my second floor. My entire house smells like this. It smells amazing. So yes, it smells amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend. If you are in like a warm weather location that doesn't experience a fall or winter, but you want winter vibes, this is it. And if you just want to create a cozy fall winter vibe in your home, get this. Okay, you can also wear this as a fragrance. I know a lot of people who do, but I just like the smell and the candles are so potent, but like in a good way, not a sickly way. Also, I love these as well. You would have seen these around my house. I got them a few months ago, actually. Um, this is the By the Fireplace Reed Diffusers. These are new. I believe they came out with these not too long ago, but these last for so long, like, Every time I walk past this stairway, I just get a whiff of this and it's just amazing. So yeah, fall vibes, the, my favorite one is By the Fireplace. I also like Jazz Club, but I will link the fragrance, the candles, and the reed sticks down below. I believe they are available at Sephora in quite a few different places and might even be on sale right now. So if you're looking to jazz up your home space just with a fragrance and an aroma, this is it. Okay, let's head downstairs. Alright guys, so here is what was just delivered. How cute. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is a, the bottom of like a pumpkin. And then the top of the pumpkin is here. And then it's uh, white roses and orange and yellow flowers with a little bit of like eucalyptus. It's just so cute. It smells amazing, of course, because of the roses and the eucalyptus. But how cute is this? I love the pot because like after the flowers have died off, you can use this as like, you know, October, November, home decor which is really cool 
Um, and there's a card, but I'm not gonna read it for you guys, but things are good. <laughs> So I'm going to New York tomorrow. I just booked my flight. <laughs> um, I decided that I want to spend Halloween in New York and I have an event to go to and some fr friends to hang out with. So we are going to New York for a quick 42 hours and I'm going to vlog it and that will be the next vlog. But yeah, hmm, should be fun. Um, so I do have a few like beauty things to show you guys. You all seem to love this. I think a lot of you managed to find like new products that you've never heard of before. And so let's get into it. First up, my friends over at Kiehl's sent me this. How cool is this? This is like a denim bag. This is like a medicine bag, almost like a carry-on bag. And if you guys don't know, Kiehl's started as like a... Uh, a pharmacy <laughs> in New York City um, I think I took you all my first brand trip was with Kiehl's I vlogged it like go back and uh, we did this thing around New York and we stayed in Brooklyn and it was so much fun but I learned a lot about the brand then and I love their products so let's see what is in this little bag oh, how cool do you see the pattern in there there's all kinds of things in there about New York. I love this. How cool. Okay, so in here we have a little Kiehl's notepad. Sorry about the light going in and out. It's like storming here in Miami. We have merch. Your girl loves some merch. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow on the plane. So we have this hoodie here and it has this little Kiehl's symbol there. And then on the back, we have the Kiehl's Pharmacy. And I've been to this store before in New York City. You can see them all there. It says icons only. How cool is that? <laughs> Kiehl's since 1851. This is so cute. It's definitely giving aesthetic vibes. Like it's super cozy. I wanna wear this maybe tomorrow on the plane. Okay. Now, in here, we have all of the Kiehl's icons, which most of these <laughs> you guys have seen me show a million times. Okay, so here we go with all of the Kiehl's icons. We have the Cream Decorp Body Lotion, which is my favorite lotion in the entire world. I tell anyone who will listen to me that if you want shining, glistening legs, arms body this is the best lotion in the world like hands down i'll link it down below i believe they carry it at sephora as well as at kiehl's and then they have the calendula herbal extract toner i've actually used this before it's really good and then we have oh my goodness these are the icons they gave me the original musk oh from Kiehl's. So this is their musk oil. Um, it was originated in the mid 1800s. Um, it is believed to have been created in 1920 at the Kiehl's apothecary. Um, it's called the love oil in the late 50s. Wow. But I remember this because I used to go into Kiehl's to buy this. <laughs> I would buy like the little tube of it and like dab it on my wrist but how cute is this bottle and kills is known for this musk so if you like a musk oh it comes in a spray too Ooh, oh gosh this brings back memories <laughs> this brings back so many memories i love good musk Ooh, ooh. this smells like this gives me like Egyptian goddess. This, this, this is what I feel like Nefertiti wore. Like, this is what the halls of her boudoir smelled like. Oh, wow. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna mix this with my rose from Byredo because I feel like it would 
it would be like perfect. I'm gonna wear this tonight to the event. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. I'll link it down below. And in addition to that, you guys know I love Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is a great base for your makeup as well. In fact, I have a, <laughs> I already have a tube in there. And then we have the uh, Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. I've showed you guys this before as well. But hello, shout out to Kiehl's for sending me their icons. I will link all of their icons below. If you get nothing from Kiehl's, get the cream decor. I'm telling you, this is the best lotion in the world, okay? I find a lotion better okay I I this is my challenge to you find a better lotion if you find a better lotion you get a prize okay but no one's gonna find a better lotion because this is the best lotion in the world anytime someone is like oh what's that on your legs your legs are so shiny it's kills it's kills and what I love about it is that it doesn't have a smell so you can spray your fragrances you can put your oils on top and it just kind of soaks up whatever fragrance you have on and then you're still like glistening and shining like there's no way that you can be ashy when you have kills cream de court in your life okay i'm so glad they sent me with one because now i can take this with me to new york and leave this in my new york apartment because i have a huge huge <laughs> bottle like this size here so yeah i can travel with this one which is great Next up, I got some pieces. Actually, this is like home decor stuff from this new brand. It's called Lake and Sky. Um, they sent a card saying, we're so excited to introduce you to Lake and Sky. I hope you love the products. So it's very aesthetic. As you can see, this is a perfume. This is one of their best sellers. It's called 1111. Um, we're going to do a first impressions, but right off the gate everything is very like aesthetic and beautiful and very kind of like minimalist as you can see here hopefully i'm not in the way so this is a simple yet bold unisex blend inspired by the teachings of kundalini yoga the color white it is sheer clean and uplifting fragrance with it with an ethereal vibe so this is the box lake and sky 1111 open it up this is what you have a little paper that reads just what i told you guys it's organic sugar cane alcohol vegan cruelty free free of parabens sulfates um and all of the bad things so let's move this little piece of paper and we have a beautiful bottle here very crisp very clean and it just has 1111 on it. Let's do a first impressions. I already sprayed that uh, musk on this wrist. So first impressions is I can't smell anything outside of the bottle. So let's give it a spray here on my wrist. So pretty wow I love it I love it okay it's very very light like it's kissing you kissing it's clean it's clean but somehow it's warm you know how like a, a clean smell is usually very sharp this is a clean smell that's warm and kind of powdery. Wow, it smells like, almost like fresh laundry. And baby smell. But there's something about it that's very elegant and chic, wow. No wonder this is their best seller. It smells amazing, 1111. It's very clean, very, it is ethereal, almost like a cloud, like what a beautiful cloud would smell like. Ooh, the dry down is nice. It definitely can be unisex. It's not strong. This is beautiful. I'm gonna link this down below. Y'all have got to check this out. I wonder what's the price point on this. 
it is very simple very ethereal very pure like earth clouds wow this smells really good i really like this new favorite unlocked 1111 by lake and sky it's a very kind of a like niche brand so they sent me 1111 the fragrance and then they also sent me their santal gray candle now y'all know me i love a santal and i love a candle so let's do a little first impressions comes in this little box here it's called santal gray so I'm, ooh, before this even got out i could smell it beautiful clean white minimal aesthetic candle and this is the baby size i believe it comes in a bigger size as well smells like santal very clean wow this might be better than the santal from the lavo candle if i'm being honest and probably more affordable too wow that smells so good this is a newer brand so if you guys want to support like small business definitely check them out um they also sent their apare um perfume i think this is a is this is a little spray or a roller a roller ball let's see oh yeah this is a little tube okay this is called apare with two a's i have to find somewhere to spray this that i haven't sprayed Ooh, that's interesting. Hmm, what's the notes of this? I'm going to read what it says, you guys. This is a calming yet revitalizing blend of warm fig. I knew I smelled fig. And lemon, cream de musk, soothing sandalwood, and oak moss. Inspired by the Kalundali meditation um, designed to create magnetism wow and to remind you how powerful you are and to use your energy wisely period <laughs> it's interesting i don't think i would mix fig and lemon but i think i like it it's gonna have to grow on me i'm gonna have to see but everything in it i like so yeah but i love how clean and like aesthetically beautiful the bottle is so those are oh wait i have one more thing from them lake and sky this is their canyon rose fragrance i love how that came in this <laughs> this cute little round bottle is this a rollerball this is a rollerball do i have any place left let's try here Ooh. I like this one too. Canyon Rose. Yeah, it's a very like light rose smell. And I, I like rose, but I don't like when it's like overpowering. This is very light. Let me see. Is there anything written on this one? No. No details on that one. So far, my favorite is 1111. No wonder it's like a, a crowd pleaser and a favorite because it smells divine. Um, oh, wait. Yes. There. For the Canyon Rose, it is a modern rose inspired by the spirit of the desert. This warm floral combines rose petals, geranium, and vanilla for an unexpected intoxicating take on tradition. Yeah, it smells good my favorite one is 11 11 without a doubt it smells incredible get it i'll link this brand down below and you can check them out shout out to the team at keels for sending me all those pieces and also the team at lake and sky for sending these over i want to find a good place for this candle i think here on my desk will be great or here on my little tabletop would be great all right guys I just sprayed that 1111 everywhere and I love it. And I think they have it in, in a candle as well. I'm gonna go to the site and I'm gonna get the 1111 candle. It's amazing. 
Next up, we have a little something from Bare Minerals, which was actually one of the first brands I ever worked with. Um, they sent over their limited edition holiday collection, Bare Ocean. You can see they have my name on there for Monroe. How cool. So let's move that out. Then we have a card with my name on it. Can you see it? And a handwritten note. I'm kind of here for the handwritten note. I have to see what it says. Dear Monroe, celebrate this holiday season with the limited edition Bear Ocean Collection. We're proud to partner with the Ocean Conservatory, a nonprofit organization dedicated to protecting our oceans from today's greatest global challenges. Treat loved ones and yourself to this cur curated wish list of plant powered skincare encased in sustainably made recycla recyclable packaging so you can embrace the beauty beneath and help protect it too. Oh, that's so cool. I really love when brands are like more conscious or con conscientious of like the planet <laughs> because we only got one. We all we got. Um, okay, so here is a little booklet with the ocean um, the Bare Ocean Limited Collection, if you guys want to check it out. Um, and they sent me this. What is in here? So this is the Skin Stars three-piece skincare set. And it's like a holiday set, so it is a $54 for a $97 value. And again, this is limited edition. And let's see what three products come in here. Ooh, whatever it is, it feels luxe. Okay, this is weighty. We have the Bare Minerals Ageless. It is a 10% phytoretinol night concentrate. Y'all know retinol is good for fine lines and wrinkles and making your skin look youthful. Um, and this is just called Ageless. I love the name and I love the packaging as well. It's clean without compromising performance. Apply after cleansing at night, avoid eye, avoid eye area. So if you're looking for a good retinol, you could check this out. I've kind of been going back and forth between two different retinols. The one from Kiehl's, um, which is like a daily retinol that you can use. And then another from Youth to the People. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, in addition to that, we get a little skin longevity. This is a long life herb eye treatment. I like the name of that. So this is for the under eye. And then there's one more thing in here. This is the Ageless Retinol Face Cream. So this is like a moisturizer with retinol. Yeah, so these are just kind of like little samples. But like this one is a full size one. And this one probably too. And probably this one too since it's for your under eye. So it's not like you need a lot. So I'll link these products down below in case you're looking for a new retinol to introduce into your skincare routine. Um, I would say probably in your 30s is the best time to start using retinol to kind of like fight aging if that matters to you. Um, so yeah, shout out to Bare Minerals. And shout out to them for caring about the earth. And last but not least for beauty, I got a little something from L'Oreal Paris. Apparently they did something with Bethany Frankel. I had no idea. Um, it is the L'Oreal Midnight Cream, and it's a serum. They gave me the serum, which is here, and also the cream. I mean, the skincare brands are really on it. Like, they're on it. Let's take a look at the Midnight Serum. First of all, the packaging is super cute. Is this going to focus for me? Focus! Yeah, the packaging is luxe. That's giving luxury. Okay, so the directions with the serum, you apply three to four drops to clean dry skin every a.m. or p.m. before your moisturizer and you avoid the eye area. I want to smell this. It doesn't smell like much of anything, which I pre prefer when I'm putting something on my face, especially if I'm going to sleep with it on. Yeah, it barely has a smell at all. So this is an anti-aging serum that would just make you glow and be gorgeous. And then we have the Midnight Cream, which you smooth all over your face and neck every morning and night after the serum or after your serum treatment. And this is what it looks like. Can you see? 
that's what it looks like again barely has a smell it's kind of like a sweet smell Ooh, very moisturizing yeah like it barely has a smell which i i prefer actually because i don't like when things are like very potent and strong i feel like you don't you shouldn't need all of that fragrance in a product and usually a lot of fragrance in a product will trigger a breakout for me yeah Ooh, it's very luxe so this is a deep hydration creamy smooth and rich luxurious cream and i love the packaging all right and that is it from l'oreal shout out to l'oreal shout out to lake and sky to keels did i forget anyone um bare minerals for sending over all of the all of the goods by the way some of these products i will never use um some of them if i'm really interested in it i will use the products i don't use i usually give away to friends and family or i'll include them in like bulk giveaways because i cannot possibly use all of these things i'm showing you i'm only one person i'm only one face and a lot of the times i have multiple of these so if i already have a product that's been sent to me more than likely i will give it away um or i'll donate it so yeah just so you know i do like opening and doing it the, doing these like uh pr unboxings for you all and showing you the new products and kind of reviewing things with you um everything i kind of open I'm, I'm gonna use but some of the things i know that i have multiple so i don't open them um and i'll just either give them away but yeah shout out to the brands let me know what you guys think i am i have 10 minutes <laughs> good thing my makeup is already done so i have 10 minutes to get ready we're gonna call an uber we're gonna head to ball harbor for dinner to celebrate their merch line and of course i'm gonna take you guys with me i'm not sure if i told you guys already but the house dress is skims it's always skims and i've linked a few of my favorite house dresses below some are from amazon some are from skims so you can see i have a bunch of stuff kind of hanging i have this jean paul gautier dress and behind it i have the yellow two-piece set that i got from maximo duty um i think last year when i went to paris fashion week with uh, ria and i think i'm gonna wear that tonight and i think i'm gonna do a red lip am i gonna do a red lip what bag am i gonna do i don't know but it's kind of raining and cold not cold it's raining outside and it's raining off and on and like what are we gonna do i don't know i'm gonna pick out an outfit i will check back in with you guys soon and we will head out all right guys so i have on this two-piece set from maximo duty i love this thing um i wore it previously i believe like last year to art basel to an event and i haven't worn it since and it needs it needs a little love just gonna top off my blush because this is a nighttime event i think the sun's about to set i put on my tiffany uh link earrings they're very chic and i was gonna do a red lip but i think i'm just gonna stick with the lip glow oil because it it's doing a trick yeah i feel like i want to add a little more eyeshadow for more of a smoky look yep i can talk about here here we are again you guys know i love this dior eyeshadow palette it is the burgundy i'm just gonna do a little bit of the brown here in the mirror of course okay sorry if i'm looking a little orange let me show you guys the full look and we're out of here okay we're gonna carry this ysl bag that i picked up in paris it's pretty chic loving the look the shoes are my brand new luboos they're so cute and I haven't like worn them out out yet. So this is like the perfect opportunity where I won't be walking a lot, but they are pretty comfortable. For the fragrance, I can't resist. We're going with 1111. Like it's so fresh and unlike anything I've smelled before. And I feel like people are going to love it. And I may mix it with a little bit of Byredo 
Rose of No Man's Land. I love this too. Just one spritz. Ooh, yes. You know what? The 1111 by itself is dope. But I wanted a little bit of a rose smell tonight. So that is the fragrance combo. I will link both down below. And you can check them out. Love that. Okay, let me show you the full look. Here is the full look. Hopefully you can see me. So there is a sheer yellow turtleneck. And underneath I have my made in form bra. A lot of you asked about this bra. It's always made in form strapless bra. It does come with straps, but I wear it without. And then it came with this matching skirt with slits on both sides. Of course, my new Lubus that you would have seen in a previous vlog. They're very comfortable. I love these. And then my Saint Laurent clutch, Tiffany earrings, Dior lip glow oil in rosemary, Dior blush, Dior eyeshadow, and you already know the fragrance combo. All right guys, let's go. beautiful like dinner i've been at so many dinners with them the last one i believe was ferragamo dinner um i've been at so many <laughs> dinners and i'm so glad that they always choose to invite me um shout out to the team uh so they have released some merch uh by the way i ended up getting um the steak it was so good and steak like a uh, pepper sauce and then they had these little things that looked like tater tots, but they were like fried whipped potatoes with cheese inside. Oh, so good. The burrata, always delicious. And then we had berries with some kind of whipped cream on top for dessert. So, so good. Anywho, all of us came home with a little gift. So I'm gonna show you all what's all was sent so if you happen to head to the shops i believe you can pick these up like somewhere so let's see what the gifts are by the way everyone loved my fit 
And I also ran into George, who I absolutely love. I think his name is Monsieur Copet on Instagram. Um, I'll put his details down below. He does such amazing reels. He was on the trip that I went to, to the Bahamas with uh, the disloyalty program at SLS Hotel. But what do we have here? We have a hat. You guys know I do love a good hat. Your girl will wear a hat. So they have their own merch that you can pick up if you love merch. Look at this, established in 16, 1965. Super cute, I'm not gonna put this on because I have a makeup and I don't wanna soil it, but very cute. We also have a t-shirt. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year when they dropped their merch, I worked with them and I created a reel with their t-shirts. It was pretty cool. Ooh, this, this is soft. So this is a cool little tee. You can see what it says there. Established 1965, Collins Avenue, the address. And it's just a little T. And it's very soft. I like it. So that's what was in the first box. We also have a little card here. Let's see what it says. Oh, these are actual cards. <laughs> um, in celebration of the storied history, history we are excited to share our limited edition 1965 collection, a series of merchandise that features our iconic logo, logo and coveted address, each item adorned with established in 1965 to pay homage to the year Bow Harbor Shops opened. Look at this. These are like little postcards when it first opened. That's crazy. I didn't know that this is like what it looked like. How cool is this? Wow. I love that these are like in black and white. This is the restaurant we ate at, I believe. It's not too different than what it is now. You guys would have seen us pull up. But these are so cool. I can make like a little, um, this is stunning. How cool is this? Oh, I love this. Maybe I'll try and recreate that for New Year's. That'll be nice. Um, yeah, how cool is this? I can put these like on a poster board and create art with these. Very cool. Okay, so now I have another box. I think, I feel like I just got a text message. A bigger box, and I think I know what's in here because I saw <coughs> Excuse me. I saw someone wearing this. Ah! It's a sweatsuit. Oh, I love it. How cute is this? So it's a black sweatsuit, and you can see here the logo. Val Harbor Shops, established 1965. Very chic, and it feels so nice. What size is this? Did they get my right size? I feel like they did. This is so cute. And then we have the matching sweatpants. I'm so wearing this to the airport tomorrow. How cute is this? So they have merch. If you guys want to check it out, hopefully I can find a link to everything. And shout out to them for inviting me to such a lovely dinner. They always invite me to everything. Um, and my shoes were a hit. They are very comfortable. I broke them in. Love that for me. Um, by the way, I did take you guys in the bathroom at Bell Harbor Shops. Their bathroom is so gorgeous. It's like one of the most stunning bathrooms. I mean, the Miami Design District also has really beautiful bathrooms. But like, they put in these new toilets that are like automatic and it's just giving luxury. It's giving luxury. Okay, my hair has succumbed to the humidity, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with my hair in its natural state. Um, but I am gonna two strand twist it down tonight uh, and probably put on a hat tomorrow at the airport and wear it all day until I take it out. Tomorrow is gonna be so 
much fun. It's not going to be included in this vlog, but the next vlog because I am flying to New York in the morning. But things are happening. We're going to some events. I feel like this is so bright. We're going to some events. We're doing some cool filming and things. So stay tuned because you will not want to miss what is happening in the New York vlog. Um, and I think that's it for the vlog, you guys. Also, wait. I got so many compliments on my fragrance tonight and it's that 1111, you guys. This is the one and not the two. It's a niche fra fragrance. Not everybody's gonna know about it. You're not gonna be out here smelling like everybody in New York who wears Santal 33. Oh, it smells so good. You guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is amazing. I'm gonna wear it every day. Um, I'll link it down below. Shout out again to the team. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little bit shorter, I believe, but I did talk a lot. But I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. The next vlog will, of course, be a little bit longer. It'll be 42 hours in New York City uh, for Halloween, and you're not going to want to miss it. Yeah, but thank you guys. I was reading your comments today on the video that went live today, which was like the at home, like a day in the life of, a, of an influencer. And you guys really seem to enjoy just me being at home. So we are, we're back with another one. All right, guys, thumbs up, subscribe, click the, noti click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Everything that you've seen in today's video is linked down below in the description box. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. Bye, guys.